Yellow fever has been a, a disease that is currently expanding and we know that uh, even within countries it's spreading uh, in, in many areas. Climate change has really changed the setting, the setup, if it's a good word. A very efficient yellow fever vaccine exists since the late 1930s. They are all based on the embryonated egg technology. And Sanofi has some vaccines since the 1950s. And recently we decided uh, to modernize the uh, production process to make it more robust, uh, more modern, so that we have a sustainable supply. We developed uh, a vero cell based technology. So it means that we are uh, propagating the, the virus in, in, in cells. Innovations uh, like in the yellow fever vaccine that will improve things like the shelf life, um, the thermostability and the production yields to be able to get more vaccines um, out of uh, the supply chain is going to be really important because these can drive um, greater operational efficiencies and benefits um, for uh, countries and their programs. It is true that epidemic preparedness uh, involves so many actors. I think that need to bring their effort together uh, to get uh, the African continent ready for the next uh, epidemic, pandemic, whatever you can say. Um, I think partnership start with uh, first those that are most affected. I think we need to start with the communities themselves, with the civil society organizations that are working with them. Uh, to ensure that, first of all, they understand the risks that are related to, to diseases and also understand the role that communities uh, should play in uh, taking the necessary preventive measures. We have to think regional because there is no frontier for the virus, for the vectors. And we can continue talking with one country and think that the neighborhood's population won't come in the country and get the vaccination if, the, if once again the health facility of the neighborhood country is closer than them, than the one in their own, own country. So for us, we have to think regionally, imply uh, organizations like WHO, UNICEF, uh, uh, Africa CDC, and also include the conflict area and the humanitarian settings. We have a three-pronged approach. So firstly, ensuring that we still maintain uh, stockpiles that are available to address immediate outbreaks, but also taking a, uh, a longer-term view to ensure that uh, at-risk populations are covered through targeted vaccination campaigns, and then ultimately um, looking at routine immunization uh, which is going to be important in order to have more population-based um, protection to reduce the outbreaks uh, that we see. Climate change is impacting the global environment and using a different uh, cell technology, we hope to improve the future uh, supply of vaccines.